My main rule is that it doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> Inside his Northeast Portland home studio. All right. Joel Henriquez. This is actually my mom's old sewing machine. Is busy creating and playing. Instant little pillow. You can let your kids draw on the fabric, which is really exciting too, to see their artwork turn into a, something other than just a piece of paper. This is one of the paintings I did last year. Done a lot of painting in the past, and I always like making stuff. Uh, but when we had kids, we had twins actually, and I had no time to paint. <laughs> But fatherhood didn't stop Henriquez from creating art. In fact, just the opposite. So I started making toys and crafts and stuff that were involving the kids or for the kids. Some of my friends said that I should start a website and so we can see what you're doing. Since we're not seeing any paintings, we got to see what else you're doing. So that's what I did. I just started putting photos of the toys I was making on the website. And that's how Made by Joel got started. About 100,000 people visit madebyjoel.com per month. And that number is growing through the use of social media and the ideas shared on the site from a national and international audience. Here's a little woodpecker toy that is just a printable on the website. You cut it out and then you fold it in half and there's a little drinking straw and then you take a regular rubber band and then it pecks down. I did this at my kid's school. And they were just like, wow, I can't believe that. Joel wants everyone to make art. A lot of teachers use these in the classroom, too. He believes that income, skill level, age, or time constraint shouldn't get in the way of making, sewing, building, or painting beautiful and fun creations. The great thing about crafting with paper and cardboard and fabric is that it, you, you don't need any money. I mean, anybody can do it. Video games are awesome. I like video games. And they're very compelling. but. Sometimes people forget how exciting it is to create something with your hands. This is something I made. We were decorating the Christmas tree and they had such a good time. I wanted to take that kind of approach to a toy. It was fun for the kids' creativity and also it was really good for developing the fine motor skills. Recently, Joel was featured on Martha Stewart and he's just come out with his first book, Made to Play. 35 projects in there to do with your kids or for your kids. For the young and the young at heart. So here we go. <laughs> nice shot.